That's correct. Uh, Ineos Grenadiers star man Egan Bernal, the defending champion, as you mentioned, who really struggled in the latter stages of the Tour de France. Uh, the race for him was played out on Sunday on the climb to the Grand Colombier, where he was distanced by the other general classification riders, including the current yellow jersey, uh, Primoz Roglic. Egan Bernal, who then further struggled in Tuesday's stage 16, where you could see him stretching. He was carrying an injury to his back from the Criterium du Dauphiné, a race which is traditionally a warm-up of sorts for the Tour de France. And we also saw that he was carrying an injury to his knee. So David, uh, Dave Brailsford, the uh, sporting director of uh, Ineos Grenadiers, uh, deciding to pull out uh, his general classification contender, saying that Egan Bernal was very young. Uh, there was the mention, of course, that he didn't want to pull out, that, it was, that he was very proud, that he wanted to work for his team. But uh, there was the feeling that perhaps it was too much of a risk for Egan Bernal to continue, particularly uh, looking at stage 17, uh, today's stage, with two massive uh, uncategorized climbs, including to Meribel Col de la Lourdes, over 2,000 meters of altitude. And there was the feeling that perhaps he just wouldn't be able to compete. And for Egan Bernal to just abandon the race or not make it into the time bracket, which every rider has to do in order to get to the following stage, would even have been even more detrimental to Team Ineos and to the young Colombian who, uh, let us not forget, is only 23 years old. Indeed, Bernal, you're saying there, Simon, wanting to, to press on for his team, a team that really hasn't had a great season. Absolutely, especially considering that uh, Team Ineos, which was of course Team Sky, have won seven of the past eight Tour de France editions uh, with uh, Bradley Wiggins, Chris Froome, Geraint Thomas and of course Egan Bernal himself last year. So this is a team that was expected once more to dominate and yet they have failed to, won, uh, to win any stage in this uh, 2020 uh, edition. Richard uh, Carapaz perhaps coming the closest as he finished second in uh, stage 16 yesterday on Tuesday. But but it is also a question of choices for Team Ineos Grenadiers. Uh, they decided to omit Chris Froome. They decided to omit Geraint Thomas and put effectively their eggs all in one basket and try and back Egan Bernal. And, and as I mentioned, yes, the defending champion, but also only 23 years old. And this is going to be a serious blow to the British cycling team, uh, a team which has a long strive to really dominate and particularly in a cycling season very much disturbed by COVID-19 with the Tour de France as the focal point of cycling worldwide. Uh, it is going to be a massive disappointment. Dave Brailsford, who said that uh, once the race is finished, they are going to try and win at least one stage. It is almost inconceivable for Ineos Grenadiers not to win at least one leg of this 107th edition of the Tour de France, but that they will certainly come together afterwards, reflect on what has happened, and perhaps reflect on some of the decision making that has led uh, to the situation now with their star man pulling out of the race.